Hi, the sci-fi recapped here. Today, I am going to explain the American science fiction action film called Infinite. It's a pretty intense story, so brace yourselves for the next action in suspense. Spoiler ahead, watch out, and take care. Unable to explain the origin of his extensive encyclopedic knowledge, the skills he has acquired, and the memories of places he has never visited, tormented, pill-popping Evan McCauley has been plagued by strange, vivid hallucinations all his life. On the verge of a mental breakdown, Evan finds himself caught in the middle of an eons long confrontation, as the Believers and the Nihilists, two groups of the gifted Infinite's extraordinary people blessed or cursed with the rare gift of reincarnation vie for power. Now, the Nihilists' feared leader, Bathurst, seeks to end all life on Earth. Is Evan a part of the Infinite's master plan? Above all, are one's fragmented memories evidence of multiple past lives? The film opens with a voice explaining that there are people who remember their past lives, known as infinites. There are two types of infinites, believers, who want to utilize their gifts and skills to shape the future, and the nihilists, who want to end their reincarnation and use their powers for evil. The nihilists have developed a new technology that could bring about the end of mankind, and the other infinites are out to stop it. 1986, Mexico City, a believer named Heinrich Treadway is driving through the city as nihilists are after him since he acquired their superweapon, the egg, his accomplices, Abel and Leona, are also in pursuit. Treadway seals a wound in his stomach with the cigarette lighter as he makes it to a bridge. He tells the other two to look inside, he doesn't make it, as Treadway nears the bridge, he uses his powers to give himself a chance to make the jump from the bridge to a crane as the car crashes below. A truck then plows into Abel and Leona's car, before dying, Leona tells Abel she will find him at the beginning, a figure then comes out and uses a special gun called a dethroner to destroy their car. Present day, Evan McCauley is a schizophrenic man with a complicated past, he goes in for a job interview at a restaurant and the manager brings up an incident from Evan's last job where he broke the arm of a customer who harassed a waitress. The manager makes it clear that Evan is not getting the job, but he hits back to the man that he doesn't know everything about him from just a background check. Evan goes to a drug dealer, Ronnie, who supplies him with the meds he needs, he gives Ronnie a sword crafted from Edo Japan, but when awaiting his payment, Evan notes that the pills are short. Ronnie refuses to give him the rest and orders him to leave before he orders his girlfriend Shauna to extend her arm so he can test out the sword, Evan disarms Ronnie and cuts off the fingers of his gunman before taking his pills and fleeing, Evan runs until he starts to see images from his past, and he ends up falling onto a car. Other infinites learn about Evan being taken into custody, he is met by a man named Bathurst, who recognizes Evan as Treadway, he presents Evan with a number of weapons from what is apparently his past lives, also hinting that his memories began to come back around when he was 14 and carved look inside on his chest. Bathurst threatens him at gunpoint until Evan starts to recognize one of his weapons as a sling from his past as a tribal warrior, just as Bathurst appears to have broken through, a car crashes through the wall, another infinite, Evan's rescuer is Nora Brightman, who takes Evan to the group she is part of. There are about 500 individuals in the world who can remember all their past lives, known as the Infinites, two opposing factions have developed among the Infinites, the Believers, and the Nihilists, the Believers, such as Nora, think remembrance is a gift bestowed to them by a higher power to make the world better. Nihilists like Bathurst consider it a curse, they think the Infinites are condemned to witness humanity self-destruct, they want to be free of this and exterminate all life on Earth. Nora gets Evan to go with her, together, they drive from Bathurst even as he pursues them, but they manage to lose him. Nora brings Evan to a hangar where she tells him that he is an infinite, which explains why he has always seen visions of past lives and knows more things than he can explain, he joins her on a plane to the headquarters of other infinites. Meanwhile, Bathurst and his partner Shin want Evan back so that he can help them locate the egg and restart the nihilist goal. Both factions believe that Evan is Treadway's reincarnation, hidden in his memory of his past life is the location of the egg, the device that was created to end the world. The believers must retrieve his memory and secure the egg before Bathurst gets Evan and tortures the information out of him. Evan meets other infinites like Garrick, who explains that the egg is a superweapon that Bathurst wants to use to stop the cycle of reincarnation by destroying all life on Earth. As seen through a vision, the egg would start killing off animal life slowly before picking up strength and speed and going after plants and humans until there is nothing left alive. The facility keeps Treadway's body frozen as they try to determine from his memories where he left the egg, they put Evan through some training to help him reinvigorate his memories so that he may learn where to locate them. Evan also learns that Nora is a reincarnation of Leona, 
but she has not been able to locate Abel since he was dethroned, meaning that Bathurst's gun can trap an infinite in a digital file. Bathurst and Shin locate Brian Porter, an infinite who has been aiding Nora, they torture him for information on Evan's whereabouts until Bathurst shoots Porter with the dethroner and takes his consciousness. Evan undergoes a procedure with another infinite named Kovic to help trigger his memories, but it doesn't work. The team then resorts to seeking help from an infinite called the Artisan, Evan and Nora go with Kovic and Trace to the Artisan's hideout. He puts Evan in a chamber filled with water to trigger the memories through a near-death experience, however, Evan actually drowns and appears dead after the infinites try to revive him. This actually works in triggering a memory because it helps Evan remember the night that Treadway died, he fought Bathurst after not delivering the egg, which was because Treadway cut his abdomen open and stored the egg in there. Just as they make this discovery, Bathurst overhears it and sends his men to attack the infinites, Trace is killed, and while Kovic puts up a fight, he is killed too. Bathurst and his team attack the Infinite's hub and steal Treadway's body before removing the egg and taking it to the sky, Evan and Nora storm Bathurst's estate to go after him, Nora stays behind to fight Shin while Evan goes after Bathurst's plane. Nora and Shin fight each other until Nora stabs Shin to death, but Nora is severely wounded herself, Evan gets onto the plane and utilizes the same power Treadway did earlier to get himself onto the plane. He fights Bathurst until both of them are falling out of the plane with the egg, Evan shoots Bathurst with the dethroner, meaning he got his wish and will never resurrect again. Evan deactivates the egg and plunges into the ocean to his death, meanwhile, Nora goes to the room with all the dethroned infinites, including Abel, and she blows herself up with the whole place so they can be reincarnated again. Evan's voiceover muses about the purpose of the infinite's powers, while we see the next reincarnations of Nora and Abel reuniting, later on in Jakarta, the artisan locates the next reincarnation of Evan, a 14-year-old boy, he gives the boy's father a car to call him when he starts to question his past, but when the artisan gives the boy his sword, the boy asks the artisan what took him so long to find him. Infinite is a 2021 American science fiction action film directed by Antoine Fuqua, Ian Shore wrote the screenplay based on a story by Todd Stein, who in turn adapted D. Eric Mikran's 2009 novel The Reincarnationist Papers. The film stars Mark Wahlberg, Chuatel Ejiofor, Sophie Cookson, Jason Mansukas, Rupert Friend, Toby Jones and Dylan O'Brien. It received negative reviews from critics who criticized the performances and screenplay, with some comparing it unfavorably to other films like The Matrix.